guys it's here 79 games here again to show you how to actually fix your ps4 hard drive you know um, when you're having the new update problems and stuff like that all right so here is where if you are having if your ps4 can item cannot automatically update try re-downloading the file if that fails transfer the file below onto a usb drive and install on your ps4 following the installation guide all right so basically this is telling you that if your ps4 can turn on and you doesn't have any internet at all you can use this um download ps4 file but for me i'm using i'm going to use this today because my ps4 is not turning on at all you understand it it, it is not turn it on at all and uh, I need to format the hard drive and factory reset it you know hard reset it so reinstall your PS4 system software will delete all of your data contained in your PS4 system storage this process is often referred to as a factory or hard reset which this is what I'm gonna do as I said before because my PS4 is not turning on at all so all you need to do is download this file if you're having the same problem as me but if you are having an update problem you can just download here and simply update it from your flash drive but for for me my PS4 is not turning on at all I'm gonna show you guys in a second so what you need to do here is if you're having the same problem as me you download this file which is ps4 software reinstallation file you know so you just want to download that and after you download it you want to create a folder called ps4 and in that ps4 folder you create one called update and then in update you drop the file that you have just downloaded okay all right so now we're gonna go right over to our console just to show you how to get things done Alright, so now we're on our console ready to show you what to do next and uh, you need to just follow the instruction here. You cannot start the PS4 as I said before, mine is not turning on at all. So I had to use this update. And so the next thing is to connect the dual shop, dual shop for using the USB cable and then press the PS1, which is very simple all of us know that. So let's do it. Alright, so Connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 7.50 or later. You can download the update file for reinstallation from playstation.com, which I will upload in my description so you guys can get it real quick. Alright, so we're going to go over here and just simply click OK. And you just wait for that to load. Alright, so it says the PS4 will be initialized, all users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. My PS4 cannot even start up. Why not? I want to do this. So, as you see, do not turn off the PS4 because it's initializing. If you're into update system software,
all know, update comes with a lot of restart. It's part of the process. So there you go, your PS4 is starting up normal again. like a brand new PS4. Go next. Just gonna run through this. Oh, no, not Panama City. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through it. Alright, so welcome back to your PS4. It is beautiful and up and running again. So, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Please like, share and subscribe. And uh, if you want more, just destroy the like button. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.